that you've been violated. Well, honey, when I laid up in that hospital in West Virginia, these women would come in, and I had a, I think it was a 12 or 18 inch hose, and they'd stick it up my rectum whenever it would blow out. Now, in all 50 states, whenever you go insert stuff into bodily orifices without the approval of that, uh, you know, other individual, that's sodomy. And it's against the law. <laughs> and but it's not I thought it was medical called... malpractice that they should be charged with. It should be sodomy. But it was just but a colonoscopy. It that... wasn't a colonoscopy. My ass. It was an 18 inch hose up my ass, what it was. And it hurt. <laughs> and they'd do it two or three times a day. And I don't know. Maybe those girls are into that stuff, that S and M stuff. But they sure damn, they sure enjoyed it. I didn't though. That's how I laid there and hold on to the bed rails and keep them screaming. Uh, so you feel you've been raped and violated? Of course I've been violated. If you got that, <laughs> you, Krista, get that off there right now. Get that off there. You're going to quit. Oh my God. Now? Oh my gosh. You ain't got nowhere to pee, so you better be quiet. You're going to make me pee my face. No, I'm not coming out of here. They oh, told me to sit. Oh my. Get in here. God bless you. You can't shut the curtain. Get in there. Get in here oh. right now. Get in here. Oh my God. Get in there.